Uh, I'll be off then. I'm sorry you have to go, James. I wish I knew why, but Mr Carson's been quite mysterious. Well, that's fair enough, Mrs Hughes. And I got a good reference. Don't worry, it's fair enough. Well, good luck to you. Anna, uh, give my regards to Mr Mays. I will. Good luck, Jimmy. Any progress on the memorial? No, my lady. Why not by the church? Then people can go in and say a prayer. Exactly. Where do they want to put it? There's a move to make a proper garden of remembrance. Oh, well, that would be something for the village. But would the village use it when they've gardens of their own? And who would look after it? You? As you can see, there's still a lot to talk about. By the way, I've decided to help Bella Davis with her Russians. I'm only collecting old clothes now, and I don't mind doing that. Quite a change from nightclubs. You may like it more than you know. Oh, Mary, I telephoned Charles, and they're coming on Monday. So you'll see them before you leave. But you don't understand. I'm hopeless. Nobody's hopeless. I'll be back after work, and I can come twice a week for as long as you want. We haven't settled your wage. There's no payment necessary. Well, I want to. We don't need charity, thank you. We can pay our way. <laughs> I'll take half a crown a lesson. That's five shillings a week. You've been very quiet all day. Have I? I wish you'd tell me what it is. Very well. You're right. And now uh, I think a bit, I'm, I'm glad you've spoken. <clears throat> Last night, Mr Barrow chose to give me an account of your history. He was bound to, sooner or later. His version is a bleak one, which will not surprise you. But I'm sure that yours will go some way to mending my good opinion. What did he say? Don't see figures as the enemy. But they are my enemy. You use them every day. When you're measuring, when you're weighing ingredients, you're doing sums in your head all the time. I suppose I am. Try to look at them as friends. Friends who are trying to tell you something you need to know. All right. Let's start here. You were treating these two columns as separate, but this figure follows directly on from that one. Do you see? That's where I was going wrong. Each number adds a clue, like each detail of a painting or every word of a book. Then, gradually, when you put them together, you get the whole picture with the information. It's not that I look down on cooking. I wouldn't want you to think that. It's just... You'd like to have some choices in your life. And why shouldn't you? I was that man. But I'm not sure I can be that man again. You can be. I know it. Good night. Now go in. You miss your dinner. not to give a false name. Always make a lie as truthful as possible. If you're seen, you have the right name, you're alone in your room. And why shouldn't you be in Liverpool? The same is true for me. What if someone recognises us both? Now, that would be bad luck, I admit. But even then, we're in separate rooms. They couldn't prove anything. Are you Foyle or Gillingham? I'm Foyle, but that is my name. And the fact that neither of us is using a title could just be to avoid fuss. How did you manage to get the rooms connected? 